will keep that one from a side down. You right, ladies and gents, how's it going? Long time no seeing all that. Well, not really, but my video schedule has changed a little bit and it's a bit erratic. Sounds about that. But anyway, look at that shadow. Don't mean the ugly mug there in the middle. That bike there. Um, that doesn't look like my usual bike. That's because it's not. I've got a new one. I've got myself a brand new 2018 Beta ALP 4.0. I've been massively, massively itching to do a little bit of green laning and I keep seeing the likes of Mr Fish, lamb chop rides and all that lot, shade tree surgeon, all messing around on their motorbikes. Now I know this one isn't quite as hardcore as shade tree surgeon's KTM 300 Enduro, but it's alright and it does the job, or at least I'm hoping it will do. It's based on the old Suzuki DR350 lump, so it's an old air-cooled engine and it's as reliable as they come. Air cooled means no liquid to worry about, which means I'm not going to puncture any radiators if I do something stupid. And uh, being an old Suzuki engine, it's going to go forever, or at least that's the plan anyway. It's all standard, obviously it's brand spankers. I've got about 10 miles on the clock so far, and 8 of them were on it when I got it. Literally picked it up today, this is my first ride, and I am just uh, finding my feet with it. Now obviously, it's a dirt bike primarily with them tyres on there, so riding it on the road isn't ideal but one of the reasons I chose this was because it's a bona fide a dual sport it will do road and dirt just as easy as each other although as I found out on the way here the dual sport tyres are not particularly awesome on tarmac but that's just mainly because I've got used to having sticky rubber on the KTM and the Triumph now unfortunately I'm not made of money so one of the bikes has had to go and I am sure you can all imagine which one it was that's been gone with. So um, those of you that follow my channel because I have a KTM 390 Duke, I'm um, sorry, I don't no longer have one of them. If that means you want to bugger off, well, that's that's what it is. So I do apologise to those of you that follow my channel because of the KTM stuff. I do still have a few little videos left um, from the KTM, some various bits and bobs, so I will be putting them up over the next few months. I've only got so much room and I've only got so much cash so yes I couldn't have a fourth motorcycle unfortunately. Any houses? so this is the bike um, it's all standard like I said there's nothing changed on it it's got big chunky dirt bike tyres I don't know how good these are um, B to say that they're nice and sticky but um, and I, I don't know I don't know anything about dirt bike tyres it's all got indicators and stuff these are things that I'm possibly going to work on I've seen RNG are stocking some fancy doobies so I'm going to touch base with them and see if I can get hold of them because I don't like the idea of having indicators fitted when playing in the mucky stuff but obviously I want to have some indicators fitted when I'm not. It's got these foldable mirrors which means that they can stay in place um, when I'm on the road and I can fold them down when I go onto the mucky stuff as well. It's got a low mud guard which is a bit kind of odd for the sort of motorcycle it is but actually it doesn't really need a bigger mud guard than that and practically that's going to be better on the tarmac on the way to the lanes and there's more tarmac on the way to the lanes than there is lanes when I get there. I do have some plans for the bike, I'm not going to go into them just yet, obviously this is just a first look. I just wanted to introduce you to all to the new bike and uh, um, yes, let you know that yes, the KTM has gone. Um, yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take myself a nice little Insta snap so I've got this in the sunshine while it's all clean and brand spanking new and then I'm going to rig up my cell video system selfie stick with my Insta 361 X camera and do a little ride along with the, with the um, bike once I've uh, shown you that as with it going along and all that sort of shenazzle I'm going to take it home and tuck it away because today isn't a day for me to go green laning I don't have the kit um, I do have some off-road kit but I don't have very much and I need to consolidate all of that and get some decent stuff so I don't break my bones and things if I fall off. Now obviously this is a brand new engine so I'm running it in so I've got to be a bit gentle with it so this isn't going hell for leather it's just letting you know what it looks like sitting on the road so this isn't ever going to set the world on fire on tarmac not with knobbly tyres fitted when they designed the bike they did actually have in mind that people would fit road tyres to it and I don't mean full on supermoto type situation I just mean the wheel rim sizes that they chose are designed to be able to take decent road tyres which uh, I think is quite nice to give you that option if primarily you are going to be riding this on the road 
and that does act as a testament to its dual sport ability and that's what really sold me on the bike now this isn't a review not in the slightest i don't know anything about the bike other than the fact that i'm really pleased i've got it so uh <laughs> yeah i hope you enjoy this little cavort this little meander along my favorite little road now my insta 361x camera is about to die it's got no batteries left now i did charge it up and again i'm not going into review on the 361x because i will be doing that once i'm more familiar with it all but yes it seems to flatten this battery when it's not doing anything so yes if you've got one of these and you charge it up each time you finish using it in the hope that it's going to be fine to use next time take the batteries out once you've done that so this isn't quite the hell for never ride that i did last time i was going down this road that was really me saying goodbye to my little ktm i feel bad i feel like i've misled you all a little bit it's not been intentional and i have to say even though i had a few little teething problems with the uh, the 390 out the box and as a couple of miles in getting some bits and bobs sorted they all got fixed the warranty covered it all at the end of the day it was the cheapest chips bike you can't expect it to be full of brembos and bowlings and all that sort of stuff and you can't expect it to have the same quality as some of the top end top tier bikes out there so i shall miss that little ktm i shall miss it almost quite dearly because roads like this are what it was made for now i'm hoping that there is enough battery in the little insta 361x to get me to the car park up here <laughs> so i don't want to lose this footage as well so what are my initial feelings and thoughts on this bike well i don't have any yet i've only ridden 10 miles i just wanted to introduce you to the bike before i get it all wrecked and muddy I know this, I'm going off road man, I'm off road in a car park because I'm on a dual sporter, I'm a dual sport buddy you and your dual sports, you enduros, that's me man, I'm with you <laughs> but yes, this is a very awesome little motorbike I think I'm going to have an awful lot of fun on it and when I get used to it, I might even become less than mediocre less than rubbish, less than useless at riding in the mucky stuff I hope you enjoy my little journey as I learn how to do this enduro-y, off-roady stuff. I'm, enduro, this is the wrong word, it's the wrong word. I'm going to be green laning. I'm going to be going on some very minor green lanes on this thing while I find my feet. And then if I get to a point where I feel comfortable and feel I will get use out of it, I might upgrade to something a little bit more off-roady rather than roady. I'm really looking forward to this bike. It weighs about the same as the 390. It's got less power, but it's going to be bulletproof. And I think that's really what's going to sell it to me. Look, I've got to do a paddle. I'm an enduro rider. Yeah, he paddles. <laughs> Anyhow, ladies and gents, this is my beta. My journey with the ALP 4.0. Look, I'm in a paddle. I'm an off-roader. Oh dear, oh dear. Right, I'm going to end this. I hope you're as excited about the journey I'm going to have with this bike as I am. No, you're not going to be. I know you're not. You don't give a shit. But I do hope that you do enjoy the journey I have on this little motorcycle. I hope you think that I'm not stupid. I hope you don't feel I've let you down by getting rid of the KTM. But it wasn't doing anything for me. Not that I didn't enjoy riding it. I just didn't have a use for it. The Triumph does road stuff longer, faster, better. The Moto Guzzi does sunny Sundays where I want to chill out. There was just no use for the 390 in my life. Whereas this, now I've got an extra alternative, a new concept of direction that I can take my motorcycling along and find out whether I enjoy playing in the dirt again. I know it's no KTM, it's no Beta Cross Trainer or anything like that, so it doesn't look as Gucci as some of the other bikes that are out there, but it ain't shabby. Although it probably will be in six months time, once I've trashed it on green lanes, falling off it left, right and centre. 
anyhow I'm gonna bugger off now so those of you who've found me because I've put beta in the search engine doobies and you've been looking for betas or ALPs welcome to the channel if you're new here please click that subscribe button I really appreciate that and that way you can enjoy further adventures on this bike and my other two if you did like this video give it a little thumbs up if you didn't like the video and you can't forgive me for the KTM jobby give it a little thumbs down then I can't help it I can't help it I had no use for it but whatever I'm, I'm all fine with that um, but whatever you do please drop in a comment let me know what it was that you liked and what it was you didn't and let me know if you can forgive me for getting shot of the KTM any houses you ride safe take care and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye for now. Keep that bar from a side down. Hey no, you gotta keep that bar from a side down.